When Glenn and I got married, we had no idea what would happen in our life. We had three children diagnosed with PH1. Primary hyperoxaluria type 1 is a rare, severe disease which over time leads to kidney failure requiring dialysis and a combined liver and kidney transplant. Colby, at five months old, started getting flu-like symptoms. So I took him to our local pediatrician and I said, I'm not going home till you figure this out. My baby is dying. To suddenly think that my child was so sick just absolutely floored me. Our doctor called us and told us what it was and that our other kids needed to be tested. I was just overwhelmed with the thought that possibly you would have three kids that would have to go through dialysis and the medication and the doctor visits and everything else. Primary hyperoxaluria is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion, which means the child needs to have two abnormal genes, one from each parent, in order to manifest it. If you only have one of the genes, you're considered a carrier. Caleb, we found out he was a carrier like my husband and I are, but he didn't have the disease. Aubrey was four, and she was diagnosed positive with PH1 as well, but she hadn't had one symptom up to that point. When I found out Haley, my little newborn, also had what Colby had, I locked myself in my room, shut the blinds, and held my baby and cried for three days. Once we know what's going on, we really need to do aggressive treatment. It was so cool to have my mom's kidney, see their sacrifice and love they have for me. It gives me a connection like with my parents that not everyone has. There's definitely lots of ups and downs, but I can still find that peace, that joy and that love with my supportive friends and family. I have gone through this. It has made me stronger and I can help other people to have hope. Even though it's been really hard at times, I just want people to know that there is happiness to be found in this life. Well.